Hello, how is everyone doing? And in today's video, we'll be going over meditations for astral projection. So the first meditation feels weird. Just make sure you seriously want to project. Otherwise, any hesitation can keep you in your body. You have to be relaxed, both mentally and physically. The first few times are the most difficult, like with anything else. Consistent practice will make this easier until you no longer have to even enter into a deep, deep trance, but can project at any time at will. Some people find projecting easier than others, as they have done this in past lives. Yes, guys, what we must recognize is your hesitation and your fear can hold you back in many things in life, whether this be financial equity, whether this be relationships, or just your fear of, of just projecting. Do not allow your fear to stop you. Do not fear anything. You will be safe and protected. Now, in our past video when we were talking about brain waves, we understood that when we are in the alpha waves, this allows for the most hypnotic state. The alpha waves, right prior to getting into the theta waves, is when you can enter a deep trance, right? And also, we know that some people are easier at doing this because they've done this in their past lives. Now. There's some people walking in this earth that's never projected before. They will only know what it's like to enter the astral plane at death. They will only understand this at the end. But for the many people that have already done this and for the many people that want to learn how to do this, this is a great video on how you can astral project and use meditation to your advantage. So this is meditation step number one, this is the first step one. So get real comfortable and go into a trance. When you are so relaxed, you can no longer feel your body. You are ready. Visualize your astral body inside your physical body being held there by your seven chakras. The chakras can be visualized like color knobs. Take each spinning chakra and stop it from spinning and give it a quarter turn in the reverse of the direction it was spinning like a doorknob. Relax and let go and try to exit. So guys, when we understand this is the, this is intrinsically step one on how to just do it. These are the, the most basic ways on how to go and leave the physical body. What we must recognize is just because we are in a physical plane does not mean we are not etherical matters. We're not etherical beings because just because we are locked in this physical body does not mean that we are not souls within this cosmos. What we have to recognize is you have to not fear letting go. That is often a problem when there's stored up hate or trauma or some kind of negativity within certain chakra levels, whether this be in the root chakra or the solar plexus. If you have some sort of fear in these or something to let go, you have to let it go. And in doing so, you will find eternal blissfulness within your brain. Your brain has, in your subconscious brain, is very, very imminent and very, very powerful, okay? It's just our jobs to realize how superhuman you could be and how humans are super and being human is super. <laughs> Meditation number two. This is more like a preparatory pur exercise. This one is not nearly as powerful as the one above, but less intense for those of you who would rather do this gradually. Lie down and relax as above. Go into a trance, relax to where you will feel like you are floating. Now lift your left astral arm up, visualize this. You will need this to imagine this, but energy follows where it is directed. Lift up your right astral arm and touch your face. Touch both your astral hands together. Do the same thing with each leg and foot. Imagine your entire astral body floating above your physical body or somewhere else in the room and concentrate on being there. Just lie there and focus on this for a while. Keep repeating this exercise often and eventually astral projection will follow. So guys, what we have to understand with doing this is you have to be in a state of relaxation, okay? Now, a state of relaxation is not just, just winding back and just 
letting the thoughts go, but it's it's amalgamating and turning off intrinsically your left side brain, the logical side that is creating all these thoughts, and really tapping into the right side brain, which is the psychic, which will allow for the psychic thought. We've spoken about this in the previous video when we talk about the pineal gland and the corpus callosum. So some of the most problems that come out of this that people are stuck at are usually visualization now in front of yourself. It's sometimes people have a difficulty in visualizing them escaping their body, right? They're not using their right hemisphere to their advantage, which is tied into left handedness. This side of the brain will help you visualize you exiting your body. Number two, paralysis after an apparently successful projection. Now, some people are scared that if they exit, can I come back? That is that is one of the fears people have, right? It's tied in with number three as well, fear. Just the fear of death or just the fear of removal because they're scared of exiting the physical plane. Now, this fear is what's going to stop you from even projecting in the first place. So it is essential that you speak positively and you allow for your thoughts to follow and emotions will follow and then this projection and manifestation shall take place number four remembering the projection now if anyone has ever taken a a mushroom trip or has tried lsd or any things of that sort right often they cannot recall what transpired during that trip right that is why it's called a trip same thing happens with astral projection you probably won't remember every single piece of information, whether it's you're entering the astral plane, the atmic plane, the Buddhist plane, whether you're entering to see the Akashic records, whatever plane you're entering to, it does not matter. You might not remember the entire thing because this is not some traumatic experience you're seeing right through a light apparatus. You're escaping the physical plane and you're going to get a 360 peripheral. So remembering the projection should be last of your concerns. It shouldn't be about what I remember and I'm just excited to tell everyone what I saw. This is a personal experience. This is an out-of-body experience. This is a super experience just for you. So remembering what transpired, you, you will remember great pieces. You remember great amounts. You will understand that everything is intertwined. Everything is one. We are all connected in this cosmos. So remembering the projection is the least of the concern. Entering the projection is the... Is the go in the physical body we have 220 degrees of vision we can only see in front of us but not behind above and below at the same time in the astral body we have more than 360 degrees of vision and can see on all sides at once this is spherical vision during projection habit forces us to force focus our attention in one direction only where we feel the forward part of our vision is the view behind, above, below, left and right is still there and seen all at once, but it cannot be assimilated by the brain all at once. This goes against the brain's lifelong habit of frontal vision. Spherical vision is like being one huge multifaceted eye that can see in all directions, up, down, left, right, back and all at once. So guys, in the previous video, we talked about how the pineal gland has light receptors and intrinsically it is a singular almond shape. This is the third eye. The third eye is where you can see everything. You see everything in a spherical context because that third eye in your brain is seeing everything. So think of it as if you're watching a basketball game from the nosebleeds. You're watching everything, right? You're watching it transpire. That is how the astral plane will be. You'll watch everything transpire. You'll watch your your astral body lift up in a third person point of view where you can see it in a 360 range here we have a picture of the byakugan which embodies this similar ideology of a 360 ocular range sort of like x-ray vision so guys this was a short video on how to on the two ways to astral project later we will talk about things as how, what happens after death what is the astral projection and the theoretical matter after death? That is something we'll talk about later. But other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like and also put a comment down below if any questions you have. This is your fallen angel and I'm out.